Hey there, so today we're gonna to go through how to set up Google Calendar to work better with Zoom. So that when you're sch scheduling times with your clients or colleagues for video calls and video conferencing, you don't have to always copy paste information for the Zoom meeting into your Google Calendar invites, and you also don't have to use the Google Meet uh, video option. So like uh, many people, uh, we prefer to use Zoom because it, people are more used to it. Many more customers of ours are, are using it and feel more comfortable using it. So, and the quality and a few other, there, there are some additional functionality that doesn't exist with Google Meet. So even though Google Meet is free and included with uh, G Suite or uh, Google Work Workplaces, I think it's called now, then that, but it's not still not quite, uh, you know, what everyone's using. So Zoom is where we're, where we're going. So let's jump in um, and go through it. So basically, uh, as you can see here in Google Calendar, the default for Google Calendar when you create a, a new invitation, let me just type this, you've got this add Google Meet video conferencing button. And you can click that, but there's no, there's no Zoom option, you know, it's just for Google Meet. So what we wanna to do today is basically get, oops, there we go, get Zoom to communicate and automatically save the details in Google Calendar when we create a new uh, Google Calendar invite. So let me show you how to do it. Basically, you just need to find the extension. It's at oh, the marketplace. Do a calendar marketplace. Zoom. Great. So then this is the workspace marketplace for Google Workspace. So if you're using a company, if you have a company Google Workspace account, this is not a Gmail uh, Google account, but this is you know for your for your company or your domain, either your own business or maybe the company you're working for. They'll be they will have a Google Workspace account, and so you'll need to you'll need to install it from this marketplace and not install the individual one for your Gmail account. In this case, you can choose to either install it for the whole domain, so everyone in your company, uh, if you have the admin uh, privileges to do so, or you can install it just for your own account and look at it. So it really depends what you're trying to do. In this case, we'll install it for the whole domain because my business is not not that many people, and so you just follow all the steps here. Let's click all this. Okay, so I'm turning it on for my domain. And then you've got to say uh, yes and then done. And then now we're basically connected up to Zoom, but we, we need to, we've added the, we've added the little app, but now we need to actually connect it. So let's, let's see what happens. We'll refresh this screen. And it should appear here. Yep, here we go. We can see it on the right-hand side here. And so when I click to add, now there's a drop-down with an option for Zoom. So I'll click that. And it's going to try and connect to Zoom. Uh, it looks like it's already connected because I've, I've installed this before. So I've logged into Zoom. But normally what you, what you might have to do is actually log in and connect up your Zoom account to the account when it asks, you know, it asks for the various uh, sort of steps when you're first using it. In my case, it's already connected up. So now it's, it's working. But the next thing I want to do is basically set it up so it doesn't offer this. I want to, I don't want to always have this Google Meet video conferencing button here. So I'm going to go to the settings into the admin settings. So for my, for the Google uh, work, place, sorry, workspace account, there's a Google admin. And that is where we're going to edit the settings for Google Calendar. So we type in, we type in correctly, Calendar. And we can go to settings for Calendar. And here you can see the various settings, sort of the main ones. Click on the one about video conferencing. You can scroll down here and change these settings. So. We want to we want to use we don't want to use Google Meet and we want to start using Zoom. So we're going to edit this and untick this box so that it's no longer the default. But we still want to automatically add video conferencing because most of our most of our calls, most of our meetings uh, need video conferencing now. So we're going to save that. And then we're also going to go to the apps section and turn off Google Meets. Google Meet so let's go to Google Workspace. Uh, let's go to Google Workspace here. 
we've got Google Meet. I'm going to turn this off for everyone as well so we, we don't have that come up anymore. It's going to take 24 hours maybe to, to, to activate. So it may not be visible now. When I go back to calendar, it may not have changed anything now. But let's have a quick look. So if I create a new activity, there we go. Oh, it looks like it's already updated. So see here, I had video conferencing. Uh, so it's still got Google Meet. I'm sure that'll disappear. Now we just click Zoom. And then we'll add the details. So that's basically it. So what should happen is the Google Meet button will disappear. And then we'll just have Zoom as the option. So I hope that's useful. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, I hope I can be helpful for the next video as well. So check that out. Subscribe to get other updates and look forward to uh, seeing you in the next one. Cheers.